Hi everyone and welcome to Icon. It's Koshal here and I am going to be showing you the latest makeup trends for spring and summer and today I'm going to be doing this summer smoky eye look and I personally love this because it's super super wearable for weddings, parties, barbecues and yeah if you would like to see how to get this look then let's get started. First going to start off with MAC face and body foundation. I love this foundation because it's super super lightweight and perfect for the spring and summer months. So I'm just going to grab some of the product onto my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and put it onto the kind of like main areas of my face and then blend it all in. So now that my base is all complete, I'm going to go and fill in my brows and the product that I'm going to be using is this Soap & Glory Double Ended Brow Archery Pencil. So on one end you've got a spoolie, so this really helps comb through all of the hairs so that you can make sure that they're all going in the direction that you want them to be going in. And then I use the other end, which has the product on it, to slightly just fill in any kind of gaps to make them look not fuller, um, but just a bit more defined. Now I'm going to move on to the actual smoky eye itself and the key that I use for doing any kind of smoky eye is less is more and the palette that I'm going to be using is the Too Faced Naturalized palette. So grabbing a bit of the shade Heaven, I'm just going to pop that onto my brow bone and this will just act as a really subtle highlight. So now I'm just going to go and prime my eyelids ever so slightly so this will just help the eyeshadow not crease and all the colours to pop as well. So I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance in Lemon Drop and I'm just running this along my eyelid. I really like running this underneath my eyes as well because it helps my concealer not crease as well. So I'm going to use the colour Cashmere Bunny from the same Too Faced palette all over my eyelid. I'm just going to pack this on to my eyelid. I'm going to do about two layers of this so it's nice and brown and then the same thing on the other eye. Now if you don't have this palette then you just want to make sure that you're using a matte brown eyeshadow which is a few shades darker than your skin tone. I'm going to take that same cashmere bunny colour mixed in with a little bit of the Too Faced bronzer just to give it a bit more warmth and I'm going to apply that to the crease of my eye with that fluffy brush and we're just going to blend it all out and smoke it all out as well. And this just helps diffuse the colour and give you that really nice but natural looking smoky eye. So grabbing my Bourjois Healthy Mix Concealer, I'm going to really highlight underneath my eyes. And I like using a concealer which is a couple of shades lighter than my skin tone. So I'm adding this onto my chin, just under where my cheekbones would be, underneath my eyes, slightly on the bridge of my nose, and then also on my forehead. And then what I like to do is I like to set all of that with some powder. So the powder that I'm going to use to set any places that I've concealed in highlight is the Kick-Ass Powder by Soap & Glory. And also helps kind of brighten those areas slightly because this powder is a yellow base powder. So now I'm going to go back in with that same Too Faced palette and I'm going to take Cashmere, Bunny and Sexpresso, mix the two colours together and run that along my lower lash line. Um, we don't want to go too heavy when we start off, we want to build the colour up. And I always like to drag the colour out so that it's nice and blended. So I'm going to take a fluffy crease brush and just run that along the lower lash line again just to make sure everything's nice and blended in together. Because we don't want it to look like blocks of colour, we want it to look really, really seamless. Because we're going for quite a subtle smoky eye, we're going to go in with a brown tight line rather than using a black. So this colour is called Lush from Urban Decay and I'm going to go and tight line my upper waterline and also my lower waterlines. lines. 
And now for mascara, I'm gonna go and add a couple of layers of the Perversion Mascara by Urban Decay. You can feel free to curl your eyelashes beforehand, or if you've got quite long lashes, you may wanna skip this step because this mascara is pretty good. So because this look is gonna be worn during the spring and summertime, I'm gonna go and bronze my face up. Now I am gonna try and kind of contour as well as bronze at the same time. So what I like to do for this is I go and pick my favorite bronzer and today I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer and the reason why I love this is because it literally smells like chocolate. So what you want to do is you want to find the hollows of your cheeks, which are just almost where your ear begins towards the top part of your lip here. Um, but you just wanna go about halfway and start concentrating the color into that groove. You can also make a fish face, which will show you where you want to apply the color. So here I'm just applying it onto my temples and my forehead. And I always like to go over it a couple of times, just so that everything is nice and blended in. And for the cheeks, I'm gonna add a cream blush because I love using cream blushes for the spring and summer months because I just find that it makes my skin look super, super glowy and super, super healthy. So I'm using the cream shade, which is in the Pink Lemonade palette from Sleek Cosmetics. So what I like to do when I apply a cream blush is I like to smile, find the apples of my cheeks, and then start dabbing the color on you just get that really nice sheen of pink on your cheeks. Now just to add a slightest bit of highlight to my cheeks, I'm gonna go in with that same Too Faced eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna take Silk Teddy and I'm gonna apply that to the high points of my cheeks. And this just helps add some height to your cheeks. And I'm also going to run that along my cupid's bow, the bridge of my nose, and my chin. And the reason why I like doing this is because it highlights these areas as well. So it makes them look slightly bit higher and it gives a little bit more dimension to your face. I love matching my blusher to my lips, so I'm gonna be applying the same cream blusher as I did on my cheeks to my lips. I'm just gonna dab it on to them. Just to add a hint of pink. Now, once the color's on there, I'm just gonna go and line my lips ever so slightly just to neaten the whole look up. And I'm gonna be using East End Snob, which is one of my favorite lip liners, and it's by Rimmel. It's a very natural pink color. And that's the finished look. So this is the final look, you guys. I really hope you liked it. I personally love this look because it's so super wearable for the daytime and then you can also amp it up for the evenings as well. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you thought and also leave me suggestions of what tutorials you would like to see next. If you did miss my last tutorial, then don't forget to click this link over here and don't forget to subscribe as well. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.